In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do sharpening with a higher pass filter in Photoshop. So I've got this Lego image here that is all finished, graded, dodged to burn, everything else. And the last thing I wanna do is add some sharpening to this. So there's a couple of steps to this, um, but it's not that difficult. So we're gonna do that now. What you're gonna first need to do is take a stamp of your picture. So the way you do that is you hold Control, Shift, Alt, and E down at the same time. So I think on Mac, that will be Command, Option, Shift, and E. Uh, it doesn't actually matter, I don't think, what order you press those first three keys in. And so when I do that, Control, Shift, Alt, E, that will grab all the layers under that one and create a copy of it up the top. Uh, no, in fact, I'm wrong, it takes every single layer. So what you'll wanna do if you've done something like this where you've got um, a watermark in is turn those off and then Control Shift Alt E and that should create a stamp without those. So I've got a copy of the image above everything and then once I've got that layer, I can then just go to Filter, Other and High Pass. Now, Actually, before we do that, this, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to zoom in to an area that's sort of got some uh, uh, detail that's gonna be sharpened. So you can see this at near to 100%. So I'm just gonna zoom in around his face here. Um, we'll go back there, filter, other, high pass. And then what you can see is how this value, the radius of this high pass filter affects the kind of detail on the face. So what this is doing is it's kind of bringing out the detail. So the higher this goes, the kind of crazier this gets as an effect. So if I had it there, that's too much. So if you see this kind of haloing around the edge, that's becoming, um, you know, too severe. So we'll probably aim for around there maybe. That looks about okay. And then once that's done, you'll then need to change the layer mode to hard light. And that's our sharpening. So if I turn this on and off, that's off, that's on. So that's without the sharpening, that's with the sharpening. So you may want to run this video in high resolution so you can see the difference. I'll just zoom in fully to 100% on this. So that's on, that's off. And you can see it's sort of starting to uh, kind of affect the um, uh, noise in the picture with the sharpening. So you can back this off just with the opacity. So if you just grab the opacity and then sort of bring it down to where you're happy with, uh, and then you've got kind of a layer that gives you global control over your sharpening. So this is not something you're gonna wanna do until the end of your editing, because obviously any retouching or recoloring work you do won't be in that stamp that you've taken the high pass filter on. So it's kind of the last thing you wanna do but once you're finished, you can run this process and it's just gonna just create a bit of punch and sharpness to your image that's gonna look great. So that's all there is to it, high pass filter sharpening in Photoshop. Uh, I think it's a much nicer sharpening technique than um, some of the sharpening filters in Photoshop. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to our channel. There's plenty of other tutorials on Photoshop, retouching and toy photography. And please visit our website at www.toyshooter.com where you can sign up for our newsletter and grab a free toy photography guide. So I uh, look forward to seeing you there and I'll see you in the next video.